do you look back on that? Because you had an incredible game seven, damn near triple-double, but you guys lost that game. Does that one, like, do you look at that one and does that one haunt you more than the feeling of y'all winning and the accomplishment of winning it all? Like, which one weighs more to you in, in, in that? I think that one, that one bothers me a lot, but for different reasons. Um, one, it bothers me because we never should have been in that game. So. Mm-hmm. And I, again, like I said, I'm a firm believer in you get what you deserve in the mm-hmm. end. And, um, and so when I look at that, it's like the greatest teaser of my life. Like I had 32, 15 boards and nine assists. And if we win that game, I'm the finals MVP. But did I really deserve it? Mm-hmm. Because we never should have been in game seven. And if we never get that far, do I then win a finals MVP if we finish it in five? Right, right. You got to think about all of it. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, possibly. Right. Mm-hmm. But it definitely wasn't a guarantee. And if we win game seven, guarantee you book it, I'm finals MVP. Mm-hmm. And so I look back on that and I'm like, okay, what changes if that does happen? Does my mindset change? Like now that I'm a finals MVP, does it not allow me to be what I've been to this team? Does it not allow me to be as humble as I've been in my situation? Because me being as humble as I've been in my situation and what I've been to this team is the reason I'll make the Hall of Fame. You know, Mm -hmm. is the reason that, you know, I am who I am regardless of how many points I've scored, how many rebounds I grabbed, how many assists I I dished out. Because of what I've been to this team and my journey and and being humble and and understanding my role and being as great at that as I can possibly be. So I look back on it and I'm like, if that happens, you know, you can never be so sure that it wouldn't have changed me and my outlook and me thinking like, oh, man, well, y'all need to pay me the most money and Mm -hmm. like I should be this. And I I don't know that, Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know if that changes my mindset, you know. And so when I look back on it, it's like. It's like the greatest what if in my life. Like, what if we would have just, like, what if Andre's shot doesn't get blocked and then the shot doesn't get blocked, we win, and I'm the finals MVP. Mm -hmm. It's like the most, like, sweet and salty flavor I can have. Mm -hmm. Because on one side, I'm like, man, I had a great game seven. Really one of the best game sevens in in history and definitely NBA finals history. And that could put perspective on it and that puts a stamp on the already impressive regular season exactly historic absolutely. regular season that y'all have absolutely and so i'm like all right like damn that that would have been great mm-hmm. you know and like my game seven would have been talked about forever Nobody talk about that game seven. <laughs> right. I don't I can't recall the last time I heard somebody talk about it other than like if we're in a setting like this. But like <laughs> if somebody starts talking about game seven on TV, nobody fucking mentions that game yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah. And it was one of the best game sevens and like I said, in NBA finals history for sure. Yeah. But we lost. And so I had to come to terms with like in the end, I got what I deserve. <laughs> because I let my emotions get the best of me. I responded in a way to something that I shouldn't respond to like that in that moment, but I did. Mm-hmm. And I stand on it. It is what it is. We lost. Oh, well, move on. But in losing my emotions, letting my emotions get the best of me the way I did, that's something that I've struggled with since a kid. Mm-hmm. And do I ever learn? My, my wife always say to me, I'm um, like, In life, you go through things. And like, if you don't learn the lesson when you go through something, you go through it again. Mm. And ultimately, you either learn the lesson or you don't. And I think, you know, although I've had like instances of where like shit has gone wrong, I learned my lesson in that instant, Mm -hmm. you know, from that thing and everything that came after that moment. And so it's a huge lesson in my life. And would I be who I am today without learning that lesson or would I still be making that same exact mistake mistake. if I hadn't learned that lesson? 
So to answer your question after I just went through all of that, um, <laughs> yes, that game haunts me. Yeah. Because I know what it could have done for me. Mm-hmm. Yet it's one of the biggest teachers in my life, and I don't regret it one bit. If anything I regret, there were some guys on that team that didn't get the opportunity to win a championship because of my emotions. Mm -hmm. And if I have one regret about the situation, it's that those guys who never got another chance to win that was on that team that didn't get to win, right? that burns me. Right. But other than that, I'm appreciative of the lesson. Always having to hear the three one shit sucks. Right. But right. I earned that and I deserve it. Right. Um, and so everything else I deserve. But for those guys that didn't get the opportunity to win, that burned me up. Mm-hmm. The storyline of that though, 73 and nine. Unbelievable. The three to one comeback. <laughs> just the storyline of that. Unbelievable. Right there is just crazy. I, I was talking writers. through a little bit of it's the script writers. <laughs> Unbelievable. The, 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 all them motherfuckers got promotion that year. <laughs> Look, the NBA season is done, but that doesn't mean prize picks is. Guess what sport I'm making money on now? Ah, baseball, baby. Look, I'm up big thanks to Mookie Betts and Mike Trout, who are helping me cash in this season. But I got to let people know what Prize Picks is. I got to do that. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app. You pick two to six players like the video on your screen, then pick if they will have more or less than their Prize Picks projections. You aren't competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections available. Look, I know how much I won, but let me tell the people how much they can win. Look, you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. And on top of that, all first-time users that deposit and use our promo code PODCASTP will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. That means if you deposit $20, Prize Picks will give you $20. If you deposit $100, Prize Picks will give you $100. And like I always say, Dallas, what we say? Dallas. He ain't here. Cha-ching!